everyone i just thought i would bring you back for part three of my tutorial slash vlog of the clemens habache color changing puzzle that i've been doing for review so as you'll notice i have finished all the lighter areas basically at the top the few pieces that are left there were pieces that i couldn't fit in right this minute so i've finished all that and i've also gone through and before i started this i've gone through and tried sorting out what i think are the darker tones so like the darker purples darker blueies and the dark brown slash yellows those kinds of colors so i'm going to um go ahead and start up my time lapse and i'm going to start trying to fill in some of these dark colors and see how that goes hopefully it'll all work out and We'll get it going but i've been um going through zooming through this pretty fast i've been surprised at how fast i've been making progress with it but i'm happy about it too so yeah i'm really enjoying this and i'm loving it i definitely recommend it for review um not for review i definitely recommend it if you're interested in the gradient puzzles and love gradient puzzles if you want the challenge it is difficult but i find once you get it sorted properly then it's very easy so as i as you i think i've said before i've basically gone through and sort of like tried sorting like greens yellows oranges slash reds pinks purples blues and i've tried um sorting them in the like just general basic those colors first i did do some miss sorting areas as you all know um so I have been going back through as I do it and I've sorted out like the light areas out of there. Now I've gone and sorted out the dark areas and then the final area that I'll do is the bright colours in the centre. And yeah, so I'm going to get going here and continue this. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, enjoying this anyway and it's helping you out if you want to consider doing this puzzle. And yeah, I will see you in a bit. Um, yeah, I'm thinking I might see if I can wrap it up this time with the with this third part but yeah we'll see how it goes so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this and yeah I'll be back soon
just thought I would come back with a bit of an update. Um, this is <laughs> probably going to be like a quickish one with more showing bits of me working on the puzzle. I'm not sure. So as you'll notice here, I've started working on our bottom dark areas here and placing them out. Um, I will say one thing, having very good lighting is quite essential for this. I'm starting to wonder if that's also why I'm managing to get this down. As you can see, I've got, I ended up placing all my darker colors out so I can sort of work on either side as I sort of start finding it hard seeing them on this side. So it's like, I know there hasn't been a lot of hints and tips with this one, um, just because I'm finding it better to just sort of try working. Basically, I found it better to work, get the greens, green edges out. And I know not everyone does it this way because the brighter middle colors are easier. And apparently the greens are the harder part. But I got the greens out. Then I worked along the lighter areas. And now I'm working along the dark areas because I want to get the harder areas out of the way first. And I'm finding with the correct lighting and correct sorting, the darker areas aren't darker and lighter areas aren't quite as hard as you as they could be, but there's still enough of a challenge to make it feel like a sense of achievement. And yes, yeah, so, and I'm going to keep working on our dark areas, and then after the dark areas. Basically, what you see in these tubs here are our center areas, which we'll then be using to fill that out. So really, there's not too much to go or too many more hints and tips that I can give other than what I've given on previous videos as I've been working along with this, mistakes I've made. Sort of, I've found now I've sort of gotten in the groove. And hey, Lils. Hey, Lil. Now that I've sort of gotten in the groove with it, I'm finding that it's not that hard. I'm sort of speeding through, getting the pieces down and getting it all together. As you can tell, I've finished all of this center area with the purples and that, most of the purples today. Um, I've also done a lot of this bottom area today, as well as I've started working on this area over here today. So, I've been speeding through it quite fast now. I've sort of worked out how I'm doing it and how I'm proceeding and how I'm working with the colours and also, I guess, having the colours sorted better as well as, I think, having decent lighting is also helping. But, yeah, I hope this is helping anyway and I will see you later. When I'll be back, um, I'll probably I'll try and do a bit more time-lapse stuff. I'll see. But yeah, um, I'll see you in a bit. Oh yeah, I'm also recording a complete time lapse of me doing this one as well. So yeah, I will see you after. And also when I get to the end of this one too, I'll try and do a complete wrap up. So I'm probably going to try finishing these darks off camera. Then, um, then when it comes to doing the center areas, I'll try showing you me doing a bit of those on camera with the center areas and then try and do a wrap up I'm thinking to finish it up in this video but we'll see how it goes so yeah I hope you're enjoying this anyway and if you're curious this is a full I'm trying to show you a fairly full view of it right now of what it's looking like so yeah I'm pretty pleased with how it's coming out so I will see you back in a bit so hey everyone, I just thought I would show you an update of where I'm basically finishing off for today. So as you can see, I have got um, most of the dark areas down. There is an area, a puzzle piece here that um, I'm sort of not sure what's going on with it. It fits in this area, it's the right colour, but as you can see, it doesn't actually fit in properly. So I'm going to just talk with Clemens Habashay about that and find out what's going on there. But yeah, basically, um, this is where I've been working on. I might try and do a bit more of um, just a time lapse showing me working on these areas because I'm hoping tomorrow to keep working on the coloured areas. So like our blues, purples, pinks, oranges, reds and yellows and 
hopefully work on finishing those. I doubt I'll finish all of them in the day, but I'm doing pretty well with getting a large amount done per day because today, as I said, I've basically finished that sort of light area across there. And I've also done probably from at least here around this area all the way across to at least here. So I think I've done pretty well for today. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. I just thought I would show you a quick update and show you what it's looking like as of today. And yeah, um, tomorrow, well, I'm hoping, I'll be aiming to do a bit of like just showing me working on this colored area and then once I've done that, I'm going to sort of do a whole wrap up and how I found this puzzle and all of that on the tutorial slash vlog. So yeah, I really hope you're enjoying this and I will see you tomorrow because I'm going to go to bed now. So yeah, but I'm loving how it's coming together and I'm having so much fun and I'm realizing the frustration isn't necessarily this puzzle, but it's more when I just start running out of energy due to my health stuff and that. But yeah, I'm very happy with how it's coming along. I feel very proud of the achievements I've made this last week with getting this puzzle up and going. And yeah, um, I can't wait to continue it. And yeah, I just, I'm really, really, really loving it. And um, thank you so much to Clemens Habashay for providing me with this puzzle in exchange for a review.
would have seen before me placing the pieces. I accidentally did it with the camera up the wrong, the mobile phone up the wrong way. But as you can see, I have now finished the 5,000 piece Clemens Habershay gradient puzzle, 5,000 pieces. Um, I absolutely love this. I know I was saying in some pieces that there was a piece here that I couldn't get to fit. And in the end, I was just talking to my mom about it and saying, I've tried everything and I can't get it to fit. And I was feeling quite upset about it and sort of disappointed because it's like, I love being able to make those things work and that. And it's like, I just did something that I'd already tried and it fitted. So I, I've got a complete puzzle, which I'm so happy about. But yeah, so I finished the 5,000 piece Clemens Habershay gradient. So I'm actually going to do a bit of a review in this tutorial, in this um, finishing vlog thing. So you'll see here, I'm just going to show you a scroll over the colors. Very bright, vibrant, beautiful colors. Um, the pieces were really clicking in at the end. And as I did them, um, they were really felt nice clicking in. We've got blue, blue board on the backing of it. Um, yeah, just very, very good quality. I really, really enjoyed this puzzle. Um, the only times I did end up frustrated was when I was really tired. I have probably blitzed this one out in about four or five days, maybe, um, with doing it over, and that's probably not the full hours of the day, but I've blitzed it out fairly fast with this one and really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I can't recommend it enough and I definitely recommend getting this if you're interested in not just a challenge, but also just something to enjoy and have fun with. Um, yeah, for me, it was a challenge, but once I got, as I've said, once I got the colors sorted correctly, um, and all of that, it was actually quite easy to go ahead and put it together. And yeah, as I said, I kind of just blitz through it because I, I was enjoying it so much and I got really in the groove and really worked out how to put it all together um but yeah I just I can't recommend it enough I want to thank Clemens Habershay for sending me this puzzle this great 5000 piece gradient puzzle in exchange for review I really loved it so much and I couldn't recommend things more i I honestly thought that I wasn't going to get that piece to fit and it was the wrong shape and yeah I got it to fit so I was very 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 happy about that <laughs> and yeah um, I I just I look forward to trying others from there in time too like I've done their color changing puzzle which took me a month and a half and this one probably took me about four days obviously not full four days but four days um, if you look too, like I'm not going to pick it up completely, but you'll see it's quite sturdy together. And as I said, blue board underneath. And yeah, I'm just very, very happy to have gotten the chance to do this puzzle. And I really appreciate Clemens Habershay sending me this puzzle in exchange for a review. And I loved it so much. I really hope this tutorial slash vlog of me doing this puzzle has helped you out. I'm going to continue it for others. Um, as I was, as you probably see on the time lapse, my next project or the live stream, my next project is continuing with Making Mickey Magic 40,320 by Ravensburger. Um, so yeah, if you want to tune in for that, feel free. <laughs> we got a bit of a project on our hands there, but I look forward to it so much. And yeah, I really enjoyed this. I am so happy with this puzzle. And yeah, I'm so glad that I got the chance to review this and the opportunity. And once again, thank you so much to Clemens Habershay for sending me this in exchange for a review. And the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. Like these pinks are probably my favorite because pink's my favorite color. But yeah, I just really, really love it. So yeah, I hope you had a good day and I will see you later. Bye.